Building an epic streaming experience is obviously a key component to succeeding as a streamer. But as Harris Heller is always saying, most of your growth as a streamer should be happening while you're not even live. How? Well, one way is through clips and cut content. You may not be familiar with video editing and diving into something like Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve may seem scary or like something you won't have time for, but that's okay. In this bonus episode of my XSplit Masterclass, I'm going to walk you through XSplit's option for video editing, which is quick, easy, and simple for everyone. Are you ready to take ultimate control over your live stream, but you're not sure how? The Elgato Stream Deck is the key to unlocking your full potential. With your choice of 6, 15, or 32 keys, all with customizable screens behind them and unlimited possibilities to nest, make folders and pages to control your live stream with scene switching, muting your microphone, activating your Elgato key lights and setting up multi actions to do everything at once. Start your stream, turn on your lights, tweet your stream. You can do anything. You'd be a fool not to have this in your setup. You don't want to be a fool, do you? Check it out via the link below and tell them the stream professor sent you. Hey Meeples Vox, welcome back to my XSplit Masterclass for 2020 and probably moving forward, sponsored by XSplit. By this point in the course, we've covered all of the basics of actually using XSplit Gamecaster and I'm making a bonus episode to show you how to do some cool advanced stuff. Remember that all episodes of the course are linked in the playlist link in the description below, so if you missed it, go check it out. I'll probably have answered any questions you may have in those videos. XSplit, as a company, has a neat little program called XSplit Express Video Editor. I'll give you a super quick rundown of how it works. Import your video file, probably a stream VOD. Use the handles on the side of the clip on the timeline to trim the clip that you want. You can also import same resolution clips to add to this one or split it down the middle. Save your project file or export your clip. Exports are super fast due to the way that this editor works by just splicing and combining clips by but avoiding re-encoding wherever possible. This means that it'll work fast for you to turn around clips for Twitter or Facebook quickly without needing to spend hours waiting for renders. It does mean, however, that actual editing effects are pretty limited. All right, thanks for watching. Hit the like. No, just, just, just kidding. Eve, as I'm going to call it, ex Express Video Editor, does let you save project files in case you want to come back to your edits later or have multiple cuts from the same video. File, save, new project, all of that jazz. Touring the rest of the UI, the video preview is front and center with the resolution of your footage, time code information, and play controls down at the bottom in the timeline. Down there is also the timeline. Here you can trim the video clip from the start and end using the handles. You can zoom in and out on the timeline to see things more clearly, and there's more from the right-click menu. Here you can split the clip at the playhead, delete it from the track itself, or export just that clip versus the entire project, which is pretty cool. You also have a cool option to switch audio tracks between your system sounds or your microphone, or more, depending on how many audio tracks you have recorded if you recorded in another program, such as OBS. This is really handy for making sure that you have the right audio. You can, of course, preview the track by just playing back the clip, spacebar, or hitting play. There are controls above the timeline for undoing and redoing your actions, deleting the selected clip, and importing more clips, and even splitting the clip at the playhead so you can just splice out a specific bit. Over on the right, you can export the entire project, that meaning all clips on the timeline at once, or just the selected clip. This gives you full control over putting together stream highlights, stream clips, and quick edits, without the hassle and de of dealing with a full-fledged NLE like Premiere or Vegas or Resolve. Use this free tool to make some highlights, cut some clips, and boost your streaming presence. Really, there's, there's no reason not to. And like I said before, it avoids re-encoding whenever possible, so it's basically like a file copy out of your stream VOD to the clip, so it's super fast. Thanks for watching this super fast episode of my XSplit Masterclass. Get subscribed for more tech education and stream guides, and maybe consider hitting the like button or sharing this video with a friend. I'm Ebos Vox, your stream professor, and I'll see you next time.